So tonight it's chicken, Italian sausage, vegetables, eggplant that was crisped, which means cooked thoroughly with Parmesan and then submerged in the gumbo. I'm calling it albo because it's got kidney beans and sweet peas and Italian sausage and chicken, all kinds of little spices and all it. I got that pan and then I got this pan. See the eggplant that was really crisp. Tastes delicious. Rudy probably eats seven bowls of this tomorrow. So now my dinner is over here. And to garnish it, I got some fresh cucumbers. It gives it a crisp, a crisping too. And then I made some homemade tortillas. I have tacos, taco, what a joke. Anyway, a little bit of Parmesan, a little bit of butter, and like crispy, wispy over there for that. And that's your basic dinner. And they, uh, as Liverpool say, all you need now is a pig's ear. That's a beer. So I'll go get a support, or I'll be right back. So it's a recap. It's got Italian sausage. It's got potatoes and peas and all oh, diced tomatoes and everything. Gives it a little bit. Of, it's got some kind of, it's bisto, a little bit of bisto in there. Plus I got some Mexican tasting uh, sauce and I threw that in there. It's like, it's a combination of gumbo and zumbo and it's dead good, as we say in Liverpool. And then over here, there's me dinner. And there's me support. So go with it. Look at that. With a dead good Liverpool accent. Take me middle of June. That's the, another one the spoon. Take the, yeah, spread the food. The demon on. So you get a bite, it gets lovely, but it's got a crispy, fresh, you know, lovely taste to it. Yeah. How's that? Dead good, huh? Tastes lovely. I mean, you gotta try it. A bit of this, a bit of that, as my son Sefton says. A bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah, look at that. Oof. Oh. Alright, it's called Albo. Albo with a, with a Sapporo. And there you are. God bless America and all who sail in that. Home cooking is the only way to go. All this other chemical sh stuff outside is silly. I was just paid homage to a good friend of mine who's got me to stop swearing. And I used to swear every single word. I used it like as verbs and nouns and adjectives and stuff. Anyway, I feel a lot better. And uh, there you are. Thank you very much.